Come here, Bubbles. Morning. Not here with the pups. It's oh, pretty early. I just got back from a little workout, but I wanted to take you around the farm. Well, say hi, girls. They say hi. Um, sun's out. It's going to be a nice warm day. One thing I need to do is actually water my my starts that I had started that are getting ready to go into the ground. So we've got some lettuce right there. And then, so I just give them three to four days before transplanting. And we've got some turnips that are really ready to go in, but I was waiting to put those in until the lettuce. So that's good. And I don't know what else is going around the farm. I think I'm gonna turn, I put in, or I turned this compost pile. I got just some old landscape fabric that I'm putting on there to hopefully keep some heat in it. But it, it's, it's actually looking pretty good. But this last turn, it didn't heat up much. And, which is normally a good thing because if your compost, you know, if your pile doesn't heat up, it should be getting ready pretty to go, pretty ready to go. But I know for a fact that this one needed one more turn, uh, another hot turn. So we'll have to off the turn that again. We'll, I'll have to turn that again. I think I might turn that again today. Love turning compost. No. Uh, but it is necessary. I need to pick up some more mulch, but this mulch has been really nice to have all thanks to my wood chipper. Kale is looking good. Just had some friends come over, so I hit harvested some purple kale, dino kale, curly kale, and some chard for them. But uh, I gotta say, I really love how the kale starts looking once, once I start harvesting or do a hard harvest. Just got those nice thick stems, it looks good. Marigolds popping up everywhere. Sunflowers looking good. These marigolds, it's funny. I planted mini marigolds and taller marigolds. It looks like a taller marigold got in with some of those mini marigolds. <laughs> oh, here's something I wanted to show you is my okra. Now this is red okra, a really awesome looking plant, but here is what you get from it. You get these nice, I'll pop this one off is you get these nice red okra. And yesterday I was roasting some potatoes and I took this red okra and just popped it in on some parchment paper. And let me tell you, it was delicious. You got some red okra and it grows great. I mean, this stuff's not been in the ground. I transplanted it pretty recently and it's been producing a lot and the plants are getting big and from what I've been told, they'll continue producing and producing. This is my first year growing okra, but uh, from the flavor I got yesterday, I would highly, highly recommend it. Oh, here's something. So we've got these, you know, this big tarp on here. These are gonna be my summer lettuce beds. But on here, if you can tell, um, uh, some toads got bu were busy and there are, it is tadpole heaven in there, which works out okay for them because they probably got a few more weeks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take off kind of one, kind of roll this tarp back little by little so I can start on either side and just make sure those tadpoles are there. Uh, but the one thing is those toads are really good to have. Toads, if you can have them on your farm, are awesome. A lot of people are like, eh, toad, they will eat different rodents, so like mice, voles. Uh, they'll also be after some different bugs and uh, they're just a good way, you know, you're trying to build this biodiversity, so having them on the farm is a great thing. Now, some people would question whether or not having that guy on the farm 
is a great thing or not. But I tell you what. Hey, Peter. I don't think he heard me. I tell I, I don't know. We we enjoy we enjoy the rabbits that frequent the farm. Can't really complain. They make things they make things fun, enjoyable, uh, entertaining here on the farm. But yeah, let's go. Let's harvest some kale and feed Bubbles and Bella. I got more another okra for today. I'm excited about that. One thing I tried doing was tried giving the dogs. Um, it's a good looking leaf. I tried giving the dogs some um, Swiss chard yesterday. They did not like it at all, at all. So, note to self, they're kale fans. All right, girls. I know you see, you see it. Do you see the kale? Okay. Hey, you be gentle. Have some more, come on. Bella, be nice. Bubbles. Hey, Bella, be nice. Bubbles. Well, you gotta like bite it off. There you go. All right, last bit for Bubbles. Bubbles, hey. Last bit for you. All right, let Dad come in here. All right, girls. Oh. A little bit better lighting there. Come here. Did you enjoy the kale? Did you enjoy the kale? Say hi to the camera. Say hi, say hi to the, no, turn around and say hi to the camera. Turn around and say hi to the camera. Bella, say hi to the camera. Well, I guess I'm facing the wrong way for them to, oh, there you go. There you go. Well, hope you enjoyed a little bit of a walk around on the farm today. Bella is breathing really heavily, but uh, yep. Say, say bye, come on, turn around, say bye. Oh, come on. Oh, well, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, we hope you have a beautiful day. If you haven't heard it already, hey, careful. We love you. And um, yeah, it's gonna get hot again here in Richmond. So gotta make sure those crops are watered and uh, the pups are watered and I am watered, but we'll stay hydrated and uh, keep growing crops and keep, uh, keep it moving. But again, we love you. Hope you have a wonderful day. We will see you very soon.